How you doing guys? This is another tutorial from the howtoman.com. I'm going to show you real quick how to create a crossover cable. Um, the reason why you might need a crossover cable is that if you have two computers and you want to share data, files, or like pictures or videos amongst each other, and you don't have a router, you will need a crossover cable. Um, also, if you um, have a modern computer, you don't need a crossover cable. You can use a regular patch cord cable, and you know they already created implementations, so you don't have to use a crossover cable to transfer data amongst each other. So, um, but if you have an older model, you most definitely need a crossover cable to achieve data transfer among two computers. All right. So this is a tutorial based on creating a crossover cable for older computers. So uh, first you would need um, a crimper. I have a Paladin Tools um, crimper. Um, it costs about seventy seventy five dollars brand new. You could buy it used for anywhere between thirty five forty dollars from Amazon or eBay. You would definitely need to get a crimper. You also need to get a, a cutter. You can get any type of cutter, scissors, it doesn't matter. Uh, you need to get a, a sharp cutter um, to cut straight into the cable so it could have a straight cut. Um, you will need that and you also need some RJ45 plugs. You could get a Home Depot if you have the money for 10 pieces for like 6 or $7. Um, to me, I think that's really expensive. So if you could wait, you could buy, buy from China, from eBay, or from Amazon. You could buy like a hundred pieces for a fraction of the cost if you wanna wait for the shipping. But if you really need to get a crossover cable, create one. Go to Home Depot. Get a RJ45 plug. Also, Home Depot sells um, those network cable kits. It comes with a a crimper and a cutter, and actually comes with some of the RJ45. You could also get it on um, on Amazon. Most likely, sell those at eBay. You know, it's pretty cheap. It costs like twenty five bucks for a whole set. All right. Um. So the fastest way to create a crossover cable is to use your old ethernet cable that already has the two ends you just have to cut one of the ends like so so on the end that has the plug you just want to look at pairs one and two and three and six so one and two is white green and green and three and six i believe is um white orange and orange so you just have to switch white orange and orange with white green and green all right that's a crossover cable so you want to do that color scheme on the open end so what you want to do now is strip the cable see this groove right here you just want to extend it a little bit out crimp it down and just give it a twirl take it out there you go nice clean cut don't worry about the blade cutting the cables because it's just only going to cut the the jacket this is called a jacket all right and what now you, you want to do is fan out these four twisted pairs all right so let's do this real quick uh, it's a little bit tough. All right, you just want to twist it up real fast, you know, if you want. It's not a race, but um, I'm trying to do this video under a certain time frame, so I don't have to have exceeded my YouTube channel bandwidth. All right, let me. Um, and now you want to do is straighten up the cables. So like I said before, the only thing you're gonna do is switch the the green with the orange. That's all. Simple and leave the rest alone. 
So now you want to do is white, orange, and orange. White, blue. Um, sorry, it's not white, blue. It's white, orange. I mean, white, green. Where's white, green? There you go. So this is white grain. White grain with white blue. White grain, white blue. Blue. Then green. White, brown, and brown. There you go. That's the color scheme for the other end of the cross over cable. Alright, you just want to make it nice and straight. So it could go into the jack nice and um, smoothly so it doesn't snag up. You don't want to snag up like what I did before my. Let me see if I could show you it. See the way it snagged up? If you're not doing it correctly. See how one of the pairs got twisted into it? I don't think you can see it, but that's another one. So now what you want to do, you want to trim down up to an inch. Trim down to the inch. Nice clean cut. There you go. And then double check if everything's alright. All the color code is up to par. And it is. So what you want to do is measure up pair the first pair. Number one is on you want to face the tab towards you. Alright, the tab always gotta to face towards you so you can know that. This is the first position. Alright. So you just measure it. You're going in. Nice and easy. You push it all the way in. Make sure the jacket is all the way up. And then double check to see if all the pairs went up straight in. And there's no gaps on the top. See it nice and straight, beautiful. All right, so now you use your clipper. Go to the AP, A pin. Face down the cable, and just give it a little push. So you could go all the way in, make sure it go all the way in, and then just crimp down. Uh, created a crossover cable. There you go. This is a typical crossover cable. Alright. So if you enjoyed my video, you know, free feel free to subscribe to my to my YouTube channel and uh, follow me on my Google my Google Plus kit, uh, my Google Plus page. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so um, I hope you enjoy and have a good day.